Well, a jury found him guilty, and he was sentenced to life in prison for an unthinkable crime. But now, John John Chuck wants a new trial and was back in court today. John Chuck was convicted of throwing his five-year-old daughter Phoebe off a bridge to her death. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton joins us now live outside the Pinellas County Justice Center with what happened in today's hearing. Avery. And John Chuck's first trial lasted four weeks, one of the longest trials this judge says she's ever been a part of. And now John Chuck wants to do it all over again. John John Chuck walked into court wearing an inmate suit and sporting a short haircut four months after a jury found him guilty of his daughter's murder. Mr. John Chuck, it's an automatic life sentence. I'm sure you know that on your conviction, so I will adjudicate you guilty of murder in the first degree. I'll sentence you to life in prison. Yes, Your Honor. After sitting through a month long trial back in April, John Chuck and his attorneys believe he deserves a do over, claiming the first trial wasn't fair. The state introduced a number of inflammatory, prejudicial statements that were not supported by the evidence. John Chuck was convicted of first degree murder by a jury in the death of his five year old daughter, Phoebe. He was accused of throwing her off the Dick Meisner Bridge in 2015. After four weeks of testimony and expert witnesses, the jury did not buy the defense's argument that John Chuck was not guilty by reason of insanity. We never raised any specific character issues for the state to rebut that. Insanity and character are two different things. Much of today's hearing focused on evidence presented during the original trial. Some, the defense argues, the jury should not have heard. And the hearing has wrapped up for today. It'll resume tomorrow morning here at the courthouse at 9 a.m. In the meantime, the judge will submit her decision by a written ruling. Live in Pinellas County, Avery Cotton, 8 on your side.